live at the Super Bowl. Taking on Schrager in a Nerd Bowl. Is this right? Nerd Bowl. It is a sports trivia contest unlike any other. Kurt Warner watches the show, wanted to get into the gauntlet. Let's go. We've got it. Insider Ian Rappaport alongside here. It is Super Bowl week. We have live coverage from both the Eagles and the Patriots all day, all morning, all week long right here on NFL Network. Let's check in with the NFC champs now looking to capture their first Lombardi trophy in franchise history. We find our very own Alex Flanagan at the press area of the Eagles Hotel next to the Mall of America where those birds will meet with the media again later today. Alex, good morning. Thanks for hanging out with us. Now, I feel like we've given Howie Roseman a lot of credit for picking and pulling pieces together this season. There's a lot of guys who didn't play with each other last year, so how did they develop this chemistry throughout the season? Okay, it's a great question because I think Howie did do a really great job on the personnel end, but I think it's taken Doug Peterson and really maybe Carson Wentz to kind of bold, bring them together and kind of develop that chemistry. Wide receiver Tory, Tory Smith told an interesting story yesterday about how in the offseason Carson Wentz invited all of the wide receivers up to North Dakota. He said they all became honorary bison, and they laughed about going to kind of sharing that experience. They went to a restaurant called JL Beers and um, kind of got to know a little bit about Carson Wentz and what makes him tick. When they landed here in Minnesota, Tory Smith said he, that he sent Carson Wentz a text message because the chain JL Beers has uh, locations here in Minnesota. So off they went and shared a hamburger there. So of course, Carson Wentz not playing in this Super Bowl, and Nick Foles is, of course. But I think that chemistry that Carson kind of laid the groundwork for has extended into this entire team, and it really has created that chemistry. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people question this team when they brought Jay Ajay from the Miami Dolphins. There were some questions surrounding his attitude really in the locker room. It was a bold move to bring him in mid-season, maybe disrupt the chemistry of this Eagles team. Doug Peterson saying that he sat down with Jay Ajay, kind of told him what to expect. And Kay, I think it really says a lot about this Eagles team that you can bring a guy in like that. Not only does he not disrupt your chemistry, but he helps you get to a Super Bowl. Alex, it does say a lot. They have a lot of chemistry. They have a lot of talent. What they don't have is a lot of the old hashtag experience that we talk about all week. And neither does Doug Peterson. He's only in his second year as head coach. Yeah. So given that, what would be his message to his team before a game this big? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, don't forget that Doug Peterson does have a lot of history and experience as a player, and I think that bodes well for your quarterback, Nick Foles, and maybe helping him and kind of helping him with this experience overall. But I think Doug Peterson, the message, going back to Jay Ajay, the message that he has been sending this locker room all season is ownership. Take ownership. I think there are a few other messages that he's been sending as well. One of them is finish. I think that's something that they've focused on all season long. Doug Peterson saying after the NFC Championship game that they still have un finished business. So here in Minnesota, they'd like to finish up that business. And I think that they really um, have ha have been able to just focus on themselves. And we go back to the personnel and the chemistry. And I think that's a big message coming in is, as we talked about a little earlier, stick to routine, know who you are, focus on what you do well. And I think the Philadelphia Eagles, you guys do a lot well. And I think they may surprise some people in this Super Bowl. Alex, I love that you brought up the point about his experience as a player. Sure, it's his first time in the Super Bowl as a coach, but he was a backup in Super Bowl 31 and 32, and it's his 50th birthday today. So happy birthday cool. to Doug Peterson. Great oh, stuff, Alex Flanagan. We'll talk to you all day as you are with the Eagles. Did you know that, Ian Rappaport? Uh, did you I know did that? Not. I don't follow him on Facebook. So. <laughs> oh, that's what you have to do. 50th <laughs> birthday. <laughs> our NFL Network Insider is here because we had breaking news, and I feel like these blockbuster deals do not happen Super Bowl week. Right. And they did. If you're just waking up, Alex Smith in a trade to the Redskins and then gets an extension for $94 million. How'd that go down? Well, the extension was part of it because Alex Smith had a strong say, Kay, in where he was going to go. There's no way any deal happened. And people wonder, you know, why didn't the Cleveland Browns, for instance, jump up and trade for Alex Smith? He wasn't going to go there. He was going to get to choose his place, get to get to sign an extension. Four years, $94 million, $71 million dollars in guarantees, which basically guarantees the next three years for Alex Smith. And there certainly were teams that were interested. The Browns were one, the Arizona Cardinals, or the Bills have been in the market for a quarterback. Not the Broncos, not the Jets. I think they're probably so priming for a Kirk Cousins uh, sweepstakes later on in free agency. But we knew that the Chiefs were trading Alex Smith 
Okay, we knew Patrick Mahomes is their starter. They love him so much. Uh, and what they get is a third-round pick and a starting quarter in Kendall Fuller. A lot of people haven't heard of, but they absolutely love him in Kansas City. Now, we know that Alex Smith is in Washington, and I started thinking about what's going to happen with Captain Kirk. And I started thinking about actual Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Sure. He, he once said, you either believe in yourself or you don't. Now, we know Kirk Cousins believes in himself. But who else believes in him? What's going to happen with Kirk Cousins moving forward? On the cover of the New York Daily News today is Beam Him Up, which I think is a reference there you to go. not yeah. a Star Trek guy, but yeah. you know, I, 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 mean, I boldly go somewhere. Yes. You know, we don't know where. Well done. The New York Jets are going to be in the mix for Kirk Cousins. Actually, the guy they promoted or are promoting is offensive coordinator Jeremy Bates. He's from the Kyle Shanahan system. Mm. We know how much uh, yep. Kirk Cousins thrived under, under that. I would expect the Jets to be in the mix. The Denver Broncos also expected to be in the mix. John Elway wants a quarterback, needs a quarterback. The last time he did this, it was Peyton Manning, and he dumped Tim Tebow along the way. Those right now are the two that stand out. But, of course, the Arizona Cardinals are going to be aggressive, trying to find a quarterback as well. Uh, so he's going to have some suitors. That's awesome. It's great stuff. You know, it's interesting to me, and uh, just talking to people around the league and all that stuff, it's, the Alex Smith legacy now. This is San Francisco. Colin Kaepernick kind of pushed him out. And then in Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes. Is there a nice ending for this for Alex Smith? Now he goes to Washington. Is, is, do people around the league still view Alex Smith as a guy who can get it done and change the script that maybe he's not the January quarterback? Some believe he isn't. Maybe the most efficient quarterback in the NFL this year actually just got a text. Highest passer here. rating. Yeah, highest passer. And we, we talk about it. People talk about him like, you know, the Chiefs fleece the Redskins. Okay, well, the Redskins just got a franchise quarterback for – Three years. Uh, I just got a text from a head coach as we're sitting here. He said, I'm so happy for Alex Smith, one of the good guys. This is a great situation for Alex Smith. Still one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. He's not exciting. He doesn't make you stand up and shout like Patrick Mahomes. Uh, but he's been really, really good every yeah. year. And he is going to have a chance to lead the Redskins to the playoffs. Uh, in a way that Kirk Cousins was not because they were never going to get him to sign a long-term And now there's a lot of pressure on young Patrick Mahomes. Oh, yeah. There's no oh, track yeah. record and no a time. defense that was ranked 29th in the league the this Mallard. year. All right, great stuff with our NFL Network stuff. insider, Ian Rappaport. Let's switch gears. Kurt Warner, heard of him? Greatest show on turf. Yes, he led the Rams to two oh, yeah. Super Bowl Live is your backstage pass to everything going on in Minnesota for Super Bowl 52. He wants to be in this game. He wants to.